uh, you have to create login API. You create a login API. For the login API, you have to create a separate entity class. Don't use an employee uh, entity class for the login purpose. Okay, remember this thing. Create a login API. For that login API, you have to create separate entity class. Whose entity class you have to mention anything. If, if you want to give a name as a registration, you mention that registration. If you want to make a user, you can make it user. Uh, that uh, you can give any name. So for that, you have to create a separate entity class that is a registration. On that registration entity class, you can log in, uh, make it a login API. Okay, don't use a employee as uh, entity class for that login API. Okay, got these things. <coughs> Are you know how to create a login API? Everybody? Yes, sir. Okay, so everybody create a login API. Very simple login API. Uh, that's not much difficult. Okay, just you have to uh, validate uh, the username or password. It is uh, appropriate username password. Then user is valid. Okay, otherwise user is invalid. For that, when we create a login API, I want a specific uh, response. Okay. I am just mentioning how I want a response from the front end. Okay. Uh, we want a response. I just mentioned the response, how, we, how I require the response as well. Create a JSON object. Inside that JSON object mentioned here, MSG is a key. You key name, you can name uh, anything. I just mentioned the MSG, MSG stands for message. Or inside that message, if user is valid, mention here, valid user. If user is valid, then send full user object to the front end. Okay, users. And whatever the user object is there, you can send all the user object. Okay. So I want a response in this fashion. Okay. If user is uh, invalid. Okay. This condition is for <clears throat> if user is valid. If user is invalid, then what will the response be required? Same response. If user is not valid. I require a response. Here in the message, you have to mention that invalid user. And in the user, here you get a null. Okay. So this type of response I want while using, while you creating a login API. Understand everybody? What is users? In that case, users is null. Don't worry. If user is null. Sorry, user. You can mention user. Only one user. Sorry. If a uh, user is uh, valid, then send a user on that particular user. If user is invalid, you can send that null. By default, it uh, when uh, user is not present in your database, it's sending you null. The database also uh, giving the null uh, value. So don't uh, use, don't bother about that also. You will get automatically null here. So you have to create that particular JSON object. And that JSON object, I have uh, you send to the front end. Got these things? Okay. So and, and from the username. <clears throat> what uh, you can uh, get data uh, from the front end means uh, um, uh, which data I have to provide to check whether user is valid or not. For that, uh, you can use to send 
uh, two datas. I think use uh, email ID, okay, email ID and password, okay. That will be sent from front end, okay. So email ID and password data will be received from the front end. According to that, you can check whether that user is valid or invalid, and you can send the response in this pattern. Okay, your request. The request parameter, this is email and pattern, and your response will be this much. Okay, got these things, everybody. This is the task you have to perform because tomorrow we require this login API as well. Hope so. You all are done with your uh, backend that I think I mentioned in the eight API minimum. And we can add this one API, total nine API is required to create. 